Sledgehammer soldiers stationed at Camp Buren, Kuwait, conducted Operation Hammer Strike. 3rd Brigade's Kuwaiti military partners and leaders from 3rd Army attended the event. One of the things we got to demonstrate today was not only the fire maneuver and shock effect capability of a combined arms company like ourselves inside of a battalion, inside of the 3rd Brigade 3rd ID, we're able to bring in assets outside of that unit as well. Especially including with our, our JTACs, controlling our fixed wing assets, we're able to have rotary ring assets come in, come in from outside this brigade and also demonstrate several key vehicles we have here, our Bradley fighting vehicle, our assault breaching vehicle, the M1 Abrams tank, uh, and show how when those vehicles, when that combat power is synchronized, that's the effects we can get. I think the key aspect to take away from it was, was our ability to demonstrate a combined arms maneuver live fire for our Kuwaiti counterparts uh, that we partner with on a daily basis. What made today unique was doing a joint air attack team with the Air Force, with 35th Cav Attack Aviation Brigade, as well as elements of 115 Infantry. But we don't have the ability to maneuver like this at Fort Benning. In the profession of arms, the weapons always change. This brotherhood does not. You know, we can call it a brotherhood, a sisterhood. This family of war fighting doesn't change. So what we saw today was a synchronization of soldiers, a synchronization of war fighters. Whether we're on this equipment here, whether they were in the sky, we can see that synchronization, and they came together to deliver a tremendous amount of combat power on the battlefield. Me as a tanker, uh, my, my great granddad was a, was a tanker in World War II. Uh, granddad was a tanker on the F-60. Um, it's kind of in my blood. I love tanks. Biggest killers out here. Putting all those again into a live fire experience uh, that I know our counterparts won't forget, but definitely our soldiers uh, have that experience that they can put in their kit bag now uh, as they move throughout their career. Reporting from Camp Buren, Kuwait, I'm Specialist Derek Ramey.